Here's the single fastest way to make a lyric video in Final Cut Pro. I'll share five steps to a professional looking lyric video, including the right way to set up your song, avoiding wasted time on adjustments, and at the end, I'll show you the fastest way to add lyrics to your video project. It's like music to my ears. All right, the first step is to add your song to your timeline. Let's add a song here I have, and then we need to do some trimming and add markers so we know where to put the lyrics. So I'm gonna play this back, and as I play it back, I'm gonna press M to add markers where I want them to go. I'm gonna take out this first section of the intro. We're gonna come in right there, okay? So we'll have this part be the intro. Whoops, I missed it. I'm using J, K, and L also to go backwards for J, K stop, L forward. I'm not gonna do the whole song because we don't have enough time for that, but I'm gonna do this first section here. I'm gonna trim my clip down. So I'll hold down Option and right bracket to trim it down, and let's zoom in with Shift Z, and let's fine tune these markers. Okay, so I'm taking that first part off and I wanna start right there. So I'll select my clip and press Option left bracket. This is where I'm gonna start right here. I can delete this marker by right clicking on it and selecting delete. So he comes in right here. I'm gonna turn off snapping for right now by pressing N and he comes in right here so I need to move this marker over. I'm gonna right click on it, select cut and then I'm just gonna press Command V for paste. All right, he comes in right here. So we need to move this one over as well. We'll do the same thing. Cut it and then paste it. I'm gonna speed up this next part, but I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, I've got my markers in the spots where I want to put the lyrics. And now I just need to finish the end here. I wanna cut it off before the beat comes back in right there. So I'll just trim it. I'm gonna put snapping back on with N. And then I'll use these little audio fade handles right here to fade out the end. Now I wanna add my background. I've got a bunch of pictures in here that I've picked out to use. This song's called Fire and Ice, and so I found a bunch of different uh, fire and ice images. All right, I've got my pictures in the timeline, and I want my music below it, so I'll just drag and drop it down below. And this is my beginning image I wanna use right here. So I'll drag that to the very beginning and then I'll move the music back down. I'm going to alternate it between fire and ice images. So I'm just going to rearrange these in the timeline. Okay, now I need to adjust the timing. With snap turned on, I can quickly adjust the timing of all these images to line right up with my markers. I know that I actually want this one to be a little bit different here. I want this to come in on the snare. So I'm gonna press T and in between the edit points, I'm gonna click and drag to the left. And now that comes in at the right spot. Awesome, okay. Select the background images and then go to the inspector. It should be over here on the right hand side. If you don't see it, click this button with the three sliders and at the bottom change type from fit to fill. Now those images fill the entire screen. Let's add a little bit of animation to these images. So I'll pick this first one and I'll click right here on the transform button and select crop. Then I'll click on Ken Burns and what this is going to do is the green is where it starts and the red is where it ends. I don't want it to do that much movement, so I'm gonna pull red out towards green in both corners. And that'll add just a little bit of movement. Then I'll press done. Let's check it out. Perfect, it's just a little bit of movement, not too much. Now I'll select my clip and I'll press Command C and then I'll select every other clip in my timeline and press Shift Command V to paste that crop. I'm gonna uncheck Spatial Conform and make sure that only crop is selected and I'll press Paste. Now those subtly zoom in as well. Let's 
do the opposite on these clips. I'm going to select it, press crop, Ken Burns, and it's going to start here in the middle and zoom out, which is what I want, but I don't want that much movement. So I'm going to click and drag start closer to the end on both corners and then press done. Now I'll select that clip, press Command C, and then every other clip I'll select it, press Shift Command V, and make sure that I paste crop only. All right, let's tweak the beginning of this a little bit. You'll notice that the background color is different. So I'll go to Generators, down to the bottom, Solids, and I'll add a custom color generator underneath and match the timing. I'll select my generator, and in the inspector, I'll click on the color wheel and I'll use this picker to pick the same color and now our background matches. Let's turn this into a compound clip. I'll select it and press Alt G to turn it into a compound clip. Give it a name and press OK. Now let's add some movement to this. I'll select my compound clip and press the crop button and select Ken Burns. And I like how it's set up. I want it to zoom out to reveal the cup, but I don't want that much. I can do a little bit more zoom because I have more time. This clip's a little bit longer. All right, that looks good. And then I'll press done. All right, so that zooms out. Perfect. Now let's add some transitions between these clips. I don't want anything too flashy. I want something pretty simple. Click on the transition browser button and go to dissolves we'll add a cross dissolve right here between these two clips. Let's take a look. That looks pretty good. Two seconds is about right for this style of song and the emotion. I'll hold down option while I click and drag to duplicate that transition and drop it on the next edit point. I'll do the same for all edit points. Except for this last one, I want to do something different. I want to fade out here at the end. So I'll select my clip and I'll go about 10 frames from the end and I'll set a keyframe for opacity. Then I'll go to the end and I'll set opacity to zero. And now it fades out as the song fades out. Perfect. Now I want to add a blur to everything. So I'm going to select everything and press option G for a compound clip and we'll call it Blur. All right, with the compound clip selected, go to Effects and go to Blur and add Gaussian Blur. I don't want the blur to be on this opening shot, so I want to start the blur right here. So I'll go to the inspector and I'll set a keyframe and I'll bring blur amount down to zero. And then I'm going to go forward about 20 frames. I used shift right arrow to move 10 frames at a time and I'll set the blur to 50. Here's what that looks like. Okay, that'll make the lyrics pop off better. Next, I want to show you how to add the lyrics, but first we have to add an intro title. In the title browser, go to social and drag and drop bump fun onto your timeline and then change the timing to match up. Select the title, and in the inspector, the title inspector, let's change the text to the name of the song. And then let's change the color to more of a fire looking color. There we go. And let's change the text too. We'll go to the text inspector, and let's use this one called Ben Giat. I like the look of that. So here's what our intro looks like. All right, now let's start adding our lyrics. Go up to build in and out category and let's use this fade template. I'm going to drag and drop it onto my timeline and just meet up right there. And then I'm going to extend it to this point as well. We'll select it and let's add our first lyrics. All right, so here's the first line. We'll put that in there and then let's match the font. I like the size, that looks good. Let's go to the title inspector and make some changes here. Let's change the color. There we go. 
Oh, here's a cool little trick. I can change just one word. I can select it here and go down here to the bottom and select face and change this to a more of a blue. There we go. All right, so here's how that looks. Nice. So let's keep adding that to our timeline. I'm gonna hold down option and click and drag to copy that over. This saves time in setting up the font, the color, that kind of thing. And we'll trim it to match up there. And we'll get the next line. You're giving me windy rain. I like this one because it matches up with that ice on the branches. That cuts off a little early, so I'm gonna drag it over so it stays on screen a little bit longer. All right, and so we'll just continue that process for the rest of the lyrics. I'm gonna do that real quick, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, so I've added my lyrics like I was showing you, and I've tweaked the timing of the titles a little bit, and I also changed this out duration. That just keeps it on screen a little bit longer, and here's what we've got. All right, nice. That's good. So the process is the same for the rest of the song. And once done, then we can share the video. I'll click on share up here and export file. We'll go to settings and I don't want audio only. I want the video and audio. And I'll select H264 because I'm going to upload this up online on YouTube. I'll click next and I'll put my name and then click save. Let's put this on the desktop. There we go. So that's how to make a simple lyric video in Final Cut Pro. I put together my 12 top tips for editing sound and I think you'll like it. Check out this video.